Good afternoon, welcome to my channel. This is my first video. I've started my channel again. I really wanted to create content that I was proud of and that I was really interested in talking about. So I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different today. I've never done a vlog-ish style video and today is quite a momentous day for me. I'm gonna be going to Bond Street with my fiance to purchase my first ever Dior purchase and I, I've i saved up for this for a couple of months now. It's not one of the kind of, it's not a handbag or anything like that, but to me it's quite a big deal because I never thought I'd be able to kind of purchase Dior products and it's a purchase that is very considered. I don't impulse buy or anything like that and I'm just really, really excited for the whole Dior experience. I know that some people aren't into that, but for me, I really value that customer experience and the heritage of the brand and purchasing something that I'm gonna have in my wardrobe for the rest of my life. So the product I'm looking to buy, I haven't decided on the exact style yet, I've got a couple in mind, is one of the Dior waist belts. And the reason that I'm looking to buy a waist belt is because Waist belts are something that I wear all the time. I wear them over blazers, I wear them with high-waisted skirts, I wear them over shirts. It's definitely an item that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of. And if you kind of have followed me on Instagram, you'll see that I always wear a black thick waist belt with either a gold or silver buckle. So that's what I'm in the market for. Today is, what's the date today? It's the 10th of December. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be too busy because it's a Thursday and I mean, it is close to Christmas, but I'm hoping because we're going in the, in the week, it won't be too busy, but we will see. It could be absolutely packed. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you along with me on this journey and hopefully um, it'll be interesting for you. I have been once to the Bond Street Dior store and it was beautiful. Even though I wasn't buying anything, I was just having a look. The customer service was so welcoming and I didn't feel like judged or anything like that for kind of being a young person who, you know, isn't absolutely minted. So I'm really just looking forward to going there and having a little look around. And hopefully one day I'll be able to go in and buy a handbag as well. But today we're gonna be getting a belt. I'll just quickly show you what I'm wearing today. So this is a really, really cute little necklace. This I found on Etsy, it's gold plated. And I love it because it's got these tiny, tiny, I don't know if you can see, these teeny tiny little butterflies. And you can wear it like this, or it's got the chain at the back where you can make it a choker as well. So when I'm not wearing a turtleneck, I'll wear it with like a, a longer chain and have it a bit tighter. Then I've got on my secondhand turtleneck, which has little short sleeves, very cute. And then my secondhand M&S blazer, which um, it's double breasted, of course, because I only wear double breasted blazers. And then on my bottom, sorry, I'm going to have to stand on my sofa to show you. I've got these secondhand black pleather leggings, which have a little slit down the front. And then on my feet, before I leave, I've got on my favourite ever slippers. These are my Ugg sandal look slippers. These honestly are just, I love them. They're so comfy. I'll be changing into my Doc Martens before we go. I will get Alex to try and film me. I'm not sure how keen he'll be for the whole vlogging thing, but I've asked him if he would maybe film me today. So fingers crossed he doesn't mind being my cameraman for the day. Hopefully he won't mind anyway. So that's my little intro. Alex is just on the call now, and then we're going to head in to Bond Street. Do you know what I'll do while I'm waiting? I'll show you. We've just put up our tree. I know it's quite late. We've put up our tree. We've never had a tree before together. And I wanted to show you my favourite ever bauble, which we found at the local garden centre. I just think it's so nice. My kind of goal was to not just to buy loads of baubles for the sake of it, but to buy just a couple that we really like, and then year on year we can build on that. So let me show you my two favorite baubles. Okay, so the first one, this one is by Gisela Graham. And if you have a little look, it's just so cute. Let's see if it'll focus. There we are. Can you see how beautiful that is? So we bought two of these, and I actually bought some for my mum for Christmas because when she saw my Instagram story that I'd bought some Gisela Graham baubles, she was quite jealous. So I've bought her some for Christmas. And then this one is one that I made using some old pearls that I had. So I really love to upcycle things, and I do keep quite a lot of just like bits and bobs in the house that I can try and find a second life for. So this here is my, oh, it's just got a bit of um, glue gun on it, but you can see 
this is my little pearl bauble and I just did this with a clear glass bauble and um, a glue gun and it's this really kind of cute pearl bauble and this honestly looks so good on the tree. We haven't finished the tree yet so I'm not going to show you it because we haven't even got a tree topper because I couldn't find a tree topper that I liked but I have seen on eBay there is a, a Gisela Graham tree topper so maybe we'll buy that if not we'll probably wait till next year because we're only going to be in London for another week anyways so it seems a bit silly to just splurge on something um, that we're not really going to get much use out of. So anyways, that's that, and now let's head to Bond Street. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. These trainers are so From cool. now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. From now on, on which one? Yeah. The one that's got like this. Oh, this one. Yeah, that's quite interesting. I like this one. Yeah, the thin one's nice. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love this one. Oh, that's beautiful. That I like. Mm. I, I think I actually prefer that in person. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like understated. This is the one with the gold, which I really like. And she got me the smallest size. But I'm also going to try it with the black, uh, the matte black hardware as well. But I do think maybe this is the one because. I think if I wear a bit of gold jewellery, it kind of all pulls it all together. So. Is that really the CD2 or is it this way? It's an, it's an ambergram, so it's the same both ways, babe. Oh, is it? <laughs> is it? Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. It's, it's much better in the gold. You prefer the gold? Yeah. Let me just look again. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think the gold. I do like the all black. But it doesn't... It doesn't this is a much thinner one. And it's a fabric, but it's got the Christian Dior embroidered in it, which is quite nice. Oh, I don't know actually between this one and... Uh, I like that one. Do you prefer this one to... What do you one? do with the... Does it have... Can you... I think it... Does this have somewhere where it kind of tucks in? Uh, yes, it has... Wait, yeah, the front side. Oh, I made it round. This here is my dream Lady Dior, the matte black. The problem with this one is this, they keep changing this um, logo, like that's the more original one, so that's more, less likely to date. open it and press here and it actually fits a lot it's got the pocket here and the zip as well but my favorite thing about it is how intricate it is amazing <laughs> I love it Mm. 
Apa Right, I am back. It's actually the next day. Uh, we ended up going out for a little drink after Dior, and by the time we got back, it was dark. So I thought I'll just wait until the next day to show you what I got. Um, we popped by Regent Street on the way home, and just uh, I think we went to Cafe Concerto and just had I had a prosecco. Alex had a. Um, a Irish coffee, like a whiskey and a coffee. Not my vibe, but he liked it. So we stopped and had that. I'm gonna show you what I got now. Um, I'm gonna admit I've already opened it. It was really, really beautifully packaged and now it just isn't. So I apologize, but I just wanted to get home and just, you know, when you just wanna double check it's the right thing. So it did come with like a really nicely done bow, but it hasn't got the bow in it anymore. But I'll show you anyway. Uh, so this is the bag it comes in. Now, first of all, wow. Like, this is almost just worth buying on itself. I think this is the Christmas bag. I've not, as, as you know, I've not bought anything from Dior before, so I don't actually know. However, I've not seen this bag on kind of other unboxings that I've watched. So I'm assuming this is their Christmas packaging. It seems like it would be because it's all gold and kind of Christmassy colours. So it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And then inside it comes with this Dior tissue just on top. And I always, always keep all of my tissue. I actually found out about a year ago that t not all tissue paper is recyclable. In fact, the majority of tissue paper isn't recyclable. So I always keep tissue paper and I repurpose it. So I'll be keeping this, folding it and putting it away for when I'm like gifting something to somebody else or I need something for some, maybe some arts and crafts. So I'll be popping this somewhere nice and safely. And then inside you've also got the recipite, this is the receipt, and that comes in an envelope with just the um, embossed logo. So obviously keeping that as well, in case I have any problems or ever want to resell, which I don't think I will, but just to be on the safe side. And then inside, this is the actual box. It did come with this ribbon, really nicely tied around it in a bow, but I am an impatient buffoon, so I unwrapped it. Um, but just imagine it had like a really nice bow and it looked really, really cute. So this is the box, it matches the bag. Really, 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 really cute. Loving just how pretty it is. I'll obviously be keeping the belt in, I've already told you what it is now. Um, I'll obviously be keeping the belt in this box when I'm not wearing it, just to keep it in pristine condition. So let's have a little look at the one I went for. Let's just open it up. There we go, so you can already see. So I did go for probably the most common one. I went for the most popular style, and I think the reason this is so popular is because of its wearability. So this is her, this is the Montaigne belt. Um, I went for the smallest size, just so that it'd be really, really, really nice and tight around my waist. So this is her here, and it's kind of in, it's not fully matte leather, but it's also not super shiny. And I went for the thicker size just because I felt like this thickness works better for my body type. I'm quite an up and down body type, so I felt like this gave me a nice optical illusion hourglass figure because I would love to have that more shapely figure, but I don't. So by getting thicker belts, and wearing them over oversized clothing, I can create that illusion. So that's why I really, really loved this thickness. You may have seen in the montage of me in the store that I did love that matte look with the matte buckle. However, I just don't think for my first Dior purchase that I should go for something too unclassic, if that makes sense. Whilst I'm still building up my designer wardrobe, I really want to go for the classics just for now and really have a very wearable selection of accessories. So that's why I went for this. Now I know a lot of people probably think this is overdone. That's absolutely fine. Personally, I think it's a classic. I really, really love it. And I think this is just gonna go with so many outfits in my wardrobe, which is the main thing for me. I like to get my value for wear. So I basically have a rule which is a pound a wear so I need to wear this as many times as it costs me in pounds basically which I'm sure I will so that is what I got I really really hope that you enjoyed my first video back 
as I say, I've started again. I'm gonna be talking all about kind of slow fashion, luxury fashion, and sustainable fashion. Those are the topics that I love. Do let me know if you have any feedback on how I can improve or any ideas for next videos. I think my next video is going to be a Depop haul and I'm gonna be filming that very, very soon. So look out for that. If you would like to subscribe or like or unlike my video, do go ahead. And I hope that you enjoyed my little, little video uh, of my first deal purchase. I'm very, very happy with it. I'm super, super excited to wear it. I'm sure you'll be seeing lots of this belt on my Instagram page. So I'm gonna pop her back in bed, put her blanket on, and I'm gonna finish up my video there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will come back again soon and have a really, really good rest of your day. Bye.